Hi, my name is Darrell Grand Moultrie, and welcome inside the studio with Hubbard Street Dance Chicago. The journey beginning when Linda Denise called me was very exciting. She's been a huge presence in my life for many years. I've gotten to work with her, with her young people at Towson University. I've gotten to choreograph on her. There's some company members that I've known since they were young. Jacqueline, she was at the Ailey School and she said, I'm auditioning for a company and I need a solo, you know? And that company was Hubbard Street. Craig, I met him when he was at the Juilliard School. And Abdiel, I met him at a young age at the Joffrey School. That idea of when people inspire you as a young person, and then as an adult, you are now working together to create art. It's a full circle moment. Darrell is amazing. He is just bursting with knowledge and passion and emotion, and he wants to give. And you can really feel that when you see him creating in the studio with dancers. There's just so much that he's just like bubbling over with ways to encourage the dancers to push further. This piece feels like he's maybe pushing the envelope both for Hubbard Street and for himself. Darrell is very unique in the way that he has worked with many different artists. Not only has he worked in the sort of the more classical theatrical dance forms, but he's worked with commercials, he's worked with pop artists, he's worked in theater. And so he has a lot of experience to share. Initially, I knew I wanted to do a work that spoke to the moment we're in. So each section has a nugget of gratefulness, hope, celebrating connectivity and persevering together pushing each other towards what the next is going to be and keeping faith. The finale, it's gospel music. And I knew initially I wanted to do something foundationally musically that connected to me being from Harlem and listening to gospel and then going to the Juilliard School and being wrapped around classical music. The use of gospel music is very interesting and it's new for Harbor Street. I knew I wanted to use this music because for so many years, it's literally been the soundtrack of my life. While he does use a mix of classical music and gospel music, which can feel specific to specific cultures, there is a certain spirituality that will touch and relate to everyone who is going through this thing called life. The thing about gospel music that's really beautiful is the audience is universal. Gospel has pulled so many people together. And a lot of times, it's not about the word of Lord, it's the message in the song that I think why so many different races attract to the music, you know? And a lot of the music can get you through. We use so much inspiration from the dancers in front of us. The artists in front of us play a huge role in how we create. They're all uniquely brilliant. And to get that in a setting where everyone is ready to dive into the process, very exciting. He's utilized the dancers in a ways that really highlight their individuality, but at its core, there's a commitment to one another and to the group. All our individual moments and uh, sections of the work depend on all of us being very present. It's the expectation to come as you are, but also be open to be, as Darrell would say, filled in. It's been a very open process from the beginning to now. He's made it a very comfortable environment to have open conversations and to with those conversations apply to his choreography. I just think it's nice to be part of um, a process with a choreographer that is moving and fluid and makes the, the piece living and it's always gonna be moving and growing each time we perform it. This is a very, very, very difficult moment for a lot of people, but at the same time, it's also a beautiful moment for so many of us who are working and have the opportunity to spread art and share art. 
When people take the time to come to the theater to see the work that I'm presenting, my goal is to help move them. So when they leave, they feel really grateful for getting up and coming to support art. I very much so wanted to create movement that would help you. It would energize you. It would inspire you. It would help you keep dreaming. It would help you encourage yourself physically, emotionally, lyrically. We have to all come into these spaces and constantly push each other to go higher, higher. And how do we survive this moment with each other, one step at a time, taking care of each other?